Welcome. In this video, we want to see how we can uh, integrate using uh, substitution. Sometimes you hear they will say use substitution. So we are integrating the given function here, but we want to integrate by substituting something instead of having x, we change to some other variable. Here we are integrating with respect to x, but we can change it so that we can have another variable. Maybe it will be easy for us to integrate. So normally you'll be given functions that will be multiplying or functions that will be dividing. You have to choose one and make it u, then change everything so that we have integration in u. So normally the struggle will be for you to identify which one you can make u. So you can see we have a function here and another function there. So one of them should be u. Now, how do you identify which one should be u? So if you see something like this to the power maybe 3, you see something like this inside here, or you see one over uh, something here, you see e to the power something there. These are the guys that you should make u. So when you look at this, it's obvious that u can be this. We have to make this according to this statement here. Because whatsoever will be uh, e to the power something, this thing here, that is the one that you make u. But if you are given these scenarios, you make these guys to be used. But in our case, we we'll use this one. So our u now becomes u is equal to 3x minus x to the power 3. So what do we do next? We need to change everything so that there we can, we can simplify or we can change everything so that we have u. So our integral looks like this one. Uh, 1 minus uh, x uh, squared, then e to the power u, then dx. So we need to manipulate u so that from there we can, we can have dx and make it a subject here. We need also to simplify this one. If we can't, again, we, we have to manipulate u so that all the variables, all the x's, all these guys are changed to u. So we have said u is equal to 3x minus x to the power 3. We need to differentiate u so that we can have dx and make it a subject of the formula. So we're going to differentiate u with respect to x. So we're going to have du over dx is equal to, if I differentiate this, I'll get 3 minus 3x squared. Now here, I can make dx the subject. So du will be equal to, I can factor out the 3 there. Then this, I'll multiply it here, it will be dx. Now, I'm, I'm trying to make this one the subject, so I can divide through by this, 3 minus 1 over x squared. I'll also divide it there, 3 minus 1 x squared. So now, I have the value for dx. I can depress whenever there is dx with uh, that one there. So what we have now will be integral 1 minus x squared e to the power u. Then now we know the value for dx from here. It will be du uh, 3, 1 minus x squared. So the next thing that we need to see is to see if we can simplify so that we can only remain with u. So this will simplify and these two, these two are going to simplify. So what we have is uh, integration over 1 over 3 e to the power u du. Here there will be 1, and here we're going to have 3. This is the guy that you can see here. Now, if you have uh, a constant, you can pull it out of the integral symbol. So we're going to have 1 over 3, then the integration of uh, u with respect to u. So the next thing that we need to do here is to integrate this one. But remember, we are integrating indefinitely. So we need to add a constant. So we are going to say this will be equal to 1 over 3. You know when you are integrating u e to the power uh, u, it will repeat itself. But if we had another number there, we are going to divide it. For instance, if we are integrating with respect to u, and maybe there, there was a 2, we are going to say e to the power uh, 2u, then divide by 2. But in this case, there is a 1 there. Even if we divide it, there will be no change. So this will be, uh, if we integrate this, we are going to have uh, uh, again the same thing. If, if there was a 2 there, we are going to write 
e to the power 2u divided by 2. But there is a 1, so even if we divide it, it will not make any, any changes there. So this, now if you are integrating without limits, you need to put the, the constant there, the arbitrary constant. Now we know the value for u, we can depress it back. This was our u, so we are going to have 1 over 3 e to the power 3x minus uh, x to the power 3. Then everything we, we have to, to add a c. So normally this is how you integrate by substitution. You try to make one of the, the functions that you are given. You'll be multiplying two functions or you'll be dividing two functions. So you have to make one u so that you can manipulate it, change dx to u and change that one. Sometimes it's not always that these functions are going to simplify. If they can't, you need to come back to u, manipulate it. Maybe you can make x squared the subject and decrease it there. Thank you so much for watching and remember if you are using your substitution, these are the guys that you can make you and you'll be ready to go.